Hi Fox, my name is Hermit in the Forest. This is my unboxing of Lionheart Legacy of the Crusader. This is a role playing game featuring isometric view from Black Isle um, that takes place in 16th century Europe, particularly Spain in Barcelona, but in a world that was somehow altered from our own. Uh, in a way that uh, during the Third Crusade, uh, sometimes in 12th century, there happened some kind of bloody ritual and um, portal opened to another world and let magic in. So in this world there are magic beings, spells and stuff. However, magic and magicians I pursued by the iron fist all of all mighty inquisition and you play as a descendant of uh, King Lionheart and you also have the powers uh, to use magic so you are pursued and uh, caught by the inquisition put onto torture mm, in this game you can meet uh, a lot famous persons like William Shakespeare, Cervantes, Hernan Cortes, the almighty Inquisitor Torquemada and many other famous people, Niccolo Machiavelli as well. And what's interesting here is also that uh, the first half of the game is uh, very good. It's even comparable to games like Baldur's Gate. However, the second part is uh, nothing like it and it's just linear fight and just there are two absolutely different games at the start and at, at, at the end okay let's take a look at the box art here it is now let's flip the front cover and take a look inside for some info about the game and pictures from the game here are the pictures from the game now let's turn the box around and take a look at the back side for some more text and pictures from the game Okay, now I open the box and let's take a look inside. First of all, there is a jewel case with a game. Here it is, on two discs, CD1 and CD2. This is the backside of the jewel case, that's the same as backside of the box. Then there is game manual. Take a look at it. Welcome. And a table of contents. A lot of pages you can see. About 80. Installation of the game. Quick start. Selecting a character. So here are the characters that you can play mm, interface attributes, skills here's the main interface this is how the game looks like some icons and actions inventory combat dialogue options you know, skill interface perks quest log and history of the game world yeah here continues as you can see a lot of pages about history now factions and power groups inquisition knights templar order of saladin that's are the spice and some renegade wizards 
so you join one of those here are the attributes as you can see different races that inhabit the game world traits so as you can see a lot of role playing great variety is present in this game something about skills here combat skills and their icons thieving skills divine skills and yeah so this here are some elemental ones lightning and frost so this is all about spells now here we get to perks yeah derived statistics And something more about the combat. Armor. And table. Also something about weapons. Uh, take a look at the credits. The people who made this game. Customer service info, warranty, license, and some advertising. Good, so there's the menu. And the last thing in the box is Primus official hint book. That's some kind of advertisement. Or, yeah, this is the mini guide. However, there exists, of course, the bigger hint book than this. So starting, yeah. So some hints and tips how to play races in the game. How to quest in Barcelona. Eventually you also leave Europe in the second part of the game for hot uh, desert land of Persia Yeah, so some maps and pictures of places Good on the back side. Yeah. Advertising from the for the strategy guide to this game. Okay, and that is all that was in the box. I thank you very much for watching this video.